Today, traders are likely to rely on fresh macroeconomic reports, unlike previous trading days. Preliminary estimates on the Eurozone Services PMI turned out to be a bit weaker than expected. The indicator increased to 50.7 points from 49.8 points instead of rising to 50.8 points. In any case, the indicator climbed above the 50-point threshold that separates contraction from expansion. Meanwhile, the manufacturing PMI should have advanced to 48.5 points from 47.8, in effect it grew to 48.8 points. As a result, the composite PMI managed to advance to 50.2 points from 49.3, whereas economies had expected a smaller rise to 50 points. Thus, the data slightly exceeded the forecast, thus allowing the euro to resume gaining in value after short-lived stagnation. However, just 30 minutes later, the market sentiment altered and the euro started falling together with a pound sterling. All this boosted the US dollar. The currency was also supported by preliminary data on the UK business activity. Thus, the manufacturing PMI increased to 46.7 points from 45.3 points, while economists had foreseen an increase to 46 points. However, the services PMI slumped to 48 points instead of climbing to 50 points from a 49.9 points. Against this backdrop, the composite PMI slid to 47.8 points from 49.0 points. Analysts had expected to rise to 49.6 points. Nevertheless, both the euro and the pound sterling have a chance to recover to at least the levels recorded earlier today. However, this will become possible if forecast for the US business activity meet reality. The manufacturing PMI is causing the most concern since it may slump to 45 points. However, this could be offset by the services PMI that may advance to 45 points. That's why the composite PMI may also grow, uh, though very insignificantly. Notably, a tumble in the US manufacturing PMI and the sentiment of most traders will hardly allow the greenback to show a considerable increase, since in the Eurozone the data is more positive. The US dollar is likely to go on falling despite the expected data. Ahead of the publication of the data from the United States, we see that the euro-dollar pair bounced after it reached a new local high of the uptrend located at 1.0927. Although the volume of long positions dropped, the market sentiment remained bullish. To resume growing, the quote should climb above 1.09 on the 4-hour chart. In this case, we may see a new rise in the volume of long positions. This, in turn, may push the price to a new local high. However, the price may go on falling if it fixes below 1.0840. In this case, the pair may slide to 1.08. Meanwhile, the pound dollar pair has been hovering within the range of 1.23 and 1.20 for 40 for the third day in a row, and this may point to an accumulation process. Notably, the existing stagnation occurred at the peak of the uptrend. Under the current conditions, traders should apply a strategy based on the outgoing impulse. A breakout of either limit will point to a further direction of the price. So, a downward movement will become possible if the price settles below 1.23 on the 4-hour chart. This auction may lead to a full-scale correction. And the upward scenario will be considered by traders if the price consolidates above 1.2450 on the 4-hour chart, and this will prove the prolongation of the upward cycle. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.